Welcome to the Talisman Digital Edition stream uh, as part of Tabletop Fest. Uh, so me uh, and, well, I should introduce myself, uh, shouldn't I? <laughs> me, Tom Young, and Carl Jackson, uh, above me from Nomad Games. Uh, we're going to be playing some Talisman Digital Edition for you all to enjoy. Uh, so, Carl, do you want to introduce yourself? Cool. I'm uh, Carl Jackson, uh, co-founder and design director at Nomad Games. Um, and we're going to run through a online game of Talisman, me and Tom, where we're playing a special rule called the Sudden Death Rule. You can find this in the house rules if you own the game, which allows you to play, you can specify a certain number of rounds that the game lasts. Uh, and players get points based on how much stuff they find, objects, followers, gold, spells. Anything you find contributes to your points. And it's a great way of playing the game in a really short amount of time. If you stuck for time, but you just want to play Talisman uh, and you get a score. Which is ideal it's for us. Cause, it's uh... ideal for us because uh, you know, we, <laughs> we don't have long. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and start the game. Okay, as as I'll we're... mark myself as ready. So, um, the start of the game, we should... And there's two AI characters as well. So, you'll, at first, you'll get to choose uh, which character you want to play as from the three options that we have here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think our player is the Black Witch. She's quite cool and gets around really easily. Mm. And then we can choose what type of fate we have. This is based on, uh, this is a, a rule that's included with the Woodland expansion that we've got switched on in this game. Uh, you can choose light or dark fate. Um, light fate works normally and lets you re-roll the, the dice rolls that you have. Dark Fate lets you force other players to re-roll their dice rolls. It's mm -hmm. really sneaky. Yeah, nice definitely that should be mean. You can't see right. my spell. Now you can choose yours. Oh, I feel like I might go for the Sorceress. I quite like the Sorceress. Not a fan of the Knight or the Prophetess. So let's just double check the character card. What's up with the Knight? It's just a bit boring. <laughs> Just Not when he gets knight. to the temple. I just find the knight a bit boring. Yeah, but he can uh, he can increase his prey score. So if you manage to get to the temple with the knight, he's really powerful. Mm. All right then. I'll play don't let, his, uh, <laughs> don't let his rubbish and weirdly shaped shield uh, distract <laughs> you. Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, that is a bit rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I did pick the fate. And then see what the AI picks. All right, so we've got Scout. And then we've got Dread Knight. Knight. Starts with a war horse. Yeah. Because this is a um, special rule, right? Where um, when you start the game, you get given three characters randomly to choose from. Yeah, there are different um, house rules about how you start your game. You can either just randomly choose from all of the characters in the pool based on which expansions you've got switched on. Mm. Or you can choose a character you like specifically. Um, or what we did was, it was called Character Select, I think it is, where you can choose a certain amount of characters. I chose three for this game. It just randomly picks three and then you just choose one of those. So it's semi-random. Yeah. Means you can so just pick as the, the best one each time. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so the Black Witch can roll two dice for her movement. And then either move either of those numbers uh, or both of them added together. So she can really get around the board quickly. Mm. Um, so I think I will go to the Oasis. Awesome. Okay, so now I'll draw two cards from a giant deck of... Uh, actually, let's see how many cards are in the deck. We've got almost all of the expansions yeah. switched on. There are 495 say, we, yeah. adventure cards. <laughs> when we loaded right. up, I was like, all right, we've got all the corner corner edges. Uh, <laughs> and we've got some uh, stuff from other expansions I can already spot. Yeah, so we've got nearly 500 adventure cards. So, I mean, if that was actually piled on a desk, yep. it'd be quite high, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> high pile. That's the benefits of digital, though. Yeah. You're not going to move that pile. <laughs> Nudge the table. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've got a princess and a wooden stake. Okay, so uh, 
I'll take the princess, which is a follower, which will allow me to heal when I go to the castle, which isn't too far away from here. I can also exchange her for money, so I guess there's some sort of kidnap ransom thing going on. I don't know. She got lost. That's the classic princess uh, thing, right? Yeah, Yeah, that's what they do. Take the princess. Wooden stake is a weapon. Um, I can discard it when I'm about to engage in psychic combat to automatically roll a six, which is quite nice. That is quite nice. Take that as well. All right, let's see what happens in my life. So roll the dice, uh, and then I can choose to go either the fields, the other fields, or I can go to a cliff. Uh, I think I'm going to go to these fields. Let's see what I draw. Oh, I got a follower as well. Whenever you land in the forest or woods, you may heal one life. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I'll keep them with me. So now it's the two AI players' turns. Um, so I'll, I'll just say while the AI is taking their turn, we've got a list of questions that we've been asking for on social media over the last few days. Mm -hmm. um, so when we've got time throughout the stream while the AI is taking their turns, I'll probably just run through the questions and uh, pick out some to answer, some of the meaty questions in there. So nice. Well, That's exactly the kind of question that I like. Meat flavored. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I've tried some like orange flavored questions before, but it just didn't work out. So <laughs> too tangy. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, I think we did a general call out, and we got quite a few good questions, right? Yeah, some uh, some interesting topics there. So mm. uh, I'll wait till it's the AI's next turn, and I'll start going through them. Sounds good. The AI has gone into the done. woodlands. It's me again. Um, double six. Nice. So I will go to Portal of Power. Draw a card. Let's see what it is. Ooh, Pack of Wolves. Okay, strength two. So it's my first fight. Yeah. I think. Mm. So they, these wolves, they roll an extra die and attack with the highest result, so... Yeah. They've got double the chance to uh, get a good attack on you. I don't fancy my chances with a wooden stake against a pack of wolves, so... Yeah. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, fight them goes. with my fists. So it happens. Well, that's not good. No. <laughs> Oh, that's... So they've rolled a three. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So the the, uh, the so the enemy have got a minus one modifier there. That's because we're playing with the Blood Moon expansion, mm -hmm. and it's daytime currently. So during the day, all enemies get minus one to their attack rolls, uh, well at their attack score. So that helped me. Good job. It was daytime. Yeah. During the night, they get a plus one, but uh, it's not nighttime yet. Yeah. So, if it was nighttime, you would have been uh, actually killed. Yeah. I would have by a, ripped to bits by a, a pack of wolves. <laughs> All right, time for my turn. Let's see what I've got. A mighty three. That doesn't give me many options. I can go to the forest, which is a bit boring. Uh, or I can go to the sentinel, which is kind of less boring, because at least I'll draw an adventure card. Go on, then. What have I got? Genie? Oh. Nice. You will cast the spells whenever you wish. Treat the spells as though you would cast them. The genie spirits off. So basically, I draw three spells and I can use them. That's great. All right. And I can't see what they are. Oh. I mean, everyone on the stream can, but you can't. So I can't. I have no <laughs> idea what those spells are. If only I was the prophetess. <laughs> okay. Those are quite a nice little suite of spells. Okay, so the first question that uh, we got from uh, our social media peeps was mm -hmm. uh, how we decided to create brand new digital only expansions. That was from uh, Mr. Ooze on Discord. How we decided to create the digital expansions. Um, this is going back a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. I think when we ran out of the physical content that Fantasy Flight Games had made, we realised there was still an appetite for more content. And so we, we just had loads of ideas. We had brainstorming sessions to try and come up with the ideas. 
to see what kind of things we can do that Talisman doesn't already have, which is tricky because mm. there's an awful lot of uh, types of content in there. Is the game waiting for me to do something? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> is, isn't it? You were like, oh, I'll, I'll do this while it's the AI's turn, and now the AI has asked you to do something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so right, he's carried on now. <laughs> so yeah, we had quite a few different ideas, and we just uh, pitted them against each other. We got some advice from some um, talisman experts we know. Uh, John New of Talisman Island uh, is a big friend of ours. He helped us out, and we gave us some input on some of the beta testers as well. And uh, we just, we just worked on things that we thought maybe Talisman was missing, um, which in the case of the Spirit Realm, which was the first one we did, it was really just handling death, because um, you know, in Talisman it's quite harsh if you've been playing for a long time and then your character runs out of lives, and then there's nothing else you can do and you're just thrown out of the game. We thought it'd be quite nice to do something about that and give the players a second chance. Yeah. So it was things like that really, we just looked at what, what could be added, how long would it take? You know, there's various things you have to take into account, budgets and time and yeah. things like that. So really it was just that, just coming up with what hasn't already been included um, and seeing if, if it would work nice. is the answer to that question, I think. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I think that's the answer. Um, and now I'm at the Hidden Valley. So, oh, oh no. Okay, so. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> no, this is... So I've got a fight against a strength enemy, which is a hobgoblin. And if I get past that, then I've got to take on a black unicorn and a crypt with a... Yep. Nice. So I fight the hobgoblin first, and I think I might use the wooden stake, actually. Yeah, Although I, I would lose the second fight anyway. So yeah. you know, I won't use the wooden stake. I'll just... Um, Use my one advantage to see if I can beat this up. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh, nice. One. Okay. So I've saved the stake. Got a hobgoblin trophy. Yeah, and now. But now. <laughs> that's not going to help. So nope. it's my craft of three versus uh, ten. <laughs> Okay, so we have an auto lose button here, which I may as well press. Which there's yeah. no chance of me winning. So uh, yeah, even I'll just if you lose. roll the six, um, which is the highest you can go, that'd still only be nine total, which they've already beaten. So yeah, sadly you've got to lose life and get kicked out all the way to the graveyard. Yeah. Now you're uh, outside of the inner region, like all the rest of us uh, peasants. Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way and see what adventure card I get. Bag of gold? That's alright. I'll take a bag of gold any day. It's better than getting killed by a wyvern and a horse. <laughs> Unless it's poisoned gold and you decide to eat it. That's true. Um, next question from Rodrigo Neira on Facebook. How do we interact with the board game designers, John Goodin and Robert Harris? Were the digital exclusive DLCs designed by them? And did you work on the digital version together? That's a really good question. Um, we we had close contact with Robert Harris and John Goodin and then later on Sam Bain while we were working on the um, original expansions. Uh, Robert Harris came to the office to see us, to see what we were working on. Uh, a few years ago, which was nice to meet him, a uh, nice guy. Uh, he was the original designer back in the early 80s. And uh, he he gave us some nice input into what we were doing. He liked the new content we were working on and um, he gave us some great feedback. He did say something really interesting though, which I've always remembered, mm. which is because we were talking to him about the random nature of Talisman and how some people don't like that, how unforgiving it can be. And he, kind of reminded us that the whole point of Talisman was that it's a journey and yeah. you're just telling a story almost as you go. There is an end goal and it can take a while to get there. But if, if on your very first turn you move to a field space and you draw a dragon, well, his his view is that could happen on a hero's story. You may yeah. run into a dragon early <laughs> in your story. You know, and that's just, you don't, if you don't look at it in a competitive way and you just let, let the journey sort of wash over you almost and just go with the flow then it works much nicer and it's much, much less frustrating <laughs> yeah 
So like talismans, oh, uh... like like real life. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a dragon in some fields recently? Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're kind of out in the middle of the countryside here. Like all sorts of stuff happens. You never know. <laughs> True, but then uh, along your journey, you can go away to the gym, beef up a little bit, you know, get some moves, and then come yeah. back. And that dragon will still be there, and you can take it on then. <laughs> actually, defeat the dragon. So, yeah, kind of makes sense. Yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. I think it's your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Uh, I'm going to go to the ruins and draw two cards. Yeah, it's so handy being able to. Uh... Oh, so handy being able to choose between the two dice rolls. Yeah, she's got the Black Witch. I like the Black Witch. I uh, don't think I need that this time. So, I should win this. That's yeah, I think you got this. Good roll. So it's another trophy for me, but it's only worth one craft point. We all add up. And then a crown to add two to my craft, which is nice. So now I've got five craft. That's me done. Uh, I'm going to go into the woods. I'm going to go on down to the woods today. Alright, so for anyone that's not played with the Woodland expansion, uh, when you enter the woods, um, what are these called again, Carl? The, the are these are path cards? The path cards, yeah. So you have to choose a path uh, that you're going to take when you go into the woods, and they all have different upsides and downsides and rewards for completing this um, area of the board. Um, so I'm going to choose which one I'm going to go for. What items do I have at the moment? So armor, got Chini. Yeah, I go for Path, path of Folly. I'm be brave. Oh. Oh. All right. Each character in this region must roll one die to see what happens. Ooh, okay. So, let's resolve Mysterious Mist first. Also, because you've just drawn an event, uh, mm -hmm. it's now night time. Yes. So, when, so whenever an event card is drawn, it changes from day to night, night to day. So now the enemies have a plus one to their attacks. Mm -hmm. So three, and that's minus one. So teleport to the forest. You've been kicked out of the woodland already. Yeah. <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> You've lost your your path card. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, the uh, the knight needs to roll as well, and he's been kicked out. <laughs> All right, both have just got kicked out of the woodland. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I now that I'm on the same space as the knight, I can either uh, encounter the space, or I can encounter the character, uh, which means that I'd fight him, and then if I win, I can take something from him, right. Yep. So I currently have four strength. He has two, but he does use the war horse. Add your mm. craft value to your strength during battle, which I'm not a fan of. So he's going to get a plus three for that war horse. Yeah, I'll encounter the space. He's uh, he's going to live for another day. Oh, well, there you go. You've rolled a six at the forest. So you gained a craft. craft. I'm all right with that. Oh. Someone really rolled for me. <laughs> <laughs> See, it wasn't me. It is fun having dark fate, but it does mean that when you get a good roll, someone else at the table can go like, no, 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 no I don't think I want you having that. Um, so another question we got was uh, from the three digital exclusive expansions, which was your favourite? Mm -hmm. uh, which is a really hard question because I like all three of them. Um, but I think I'll go with the Clockwork Kingdom, yeah. which was the last one we did, just because I, I like the idea of being able to create and craft your own weapons and armor and um, followers. It, it's just interesting. I think it was something we wanted to add for a while. Yeah. 
Um, but just wandering around and finding um, sort of components which you can then use to convert into unique items. I, was, I mean, it was a challenging system for us to create, but it's, mm -hmm. I just think it's quite fun. Yeah, it's it adds, the kind of thing that like, uh, adds to the game. Yeah, we could only so, really so. do digitally, right? Yeah, um, I mean, you could try and do it physically, it'd be, it'd be difficult. But uh, yeah, I'd say the Clockwork Kingdom is my favourite. Nice. Who was it that um, asked that question? Uh, that was Mr. Ooze. He sent us quite a few questions. Yeah. <laughs> on, on Discord, our Discord channel. Quite a few people on there. Yeah, it's a nice little, uh, nice little community we've got going on on the Discord. There's a lot of talented fans on there. All right, so what is happening? The knight is getting, uh, fighting some thieving piskies, 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 I guess. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Now he's stealing from the scout. I'm alright with that. Now it's me again. Thank you again. So this is round five out of 30. So don't forget, it will end at round 30. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you get the uh, points for? You'll get points for uh, all the items that you found, all cards that you own, any, any strength or craft points that you've gained, uh, trophies that you have on you at the time, I think. Cool. Um, gold, things like that. So it's anything you've gained, really, okay. uh, will contribute towards your points. And it'll give you a, a running total. To, as the game is coming to a close, it starts showing you how many points each player's got. So it starts to get a bit more competitive, nearly. Yeah. Okay. Take the top three cards from the Highland deck without looking at them or changing their order and place them on top of the Adventure deck. Okay. So now we'll, we'll, we'll be drawing a few cards from the Highland deck on the normal board. Because it changes based on uh, you draw from different decks depending on where you are, right? Yeah. So when you're in the Highland region, which is at the bottom left, you'll draw a spe specific deck of cards from there. So now it's brought three of those into the normal board. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go into the caves, see how that treats me. Two bags of gold. Mm -hmm. I'm all right with that. Nice caves. Yeah. Two points towards my victory. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to think slightly differently with this uh, sudden death mode. It's interesting. Yeah. Like a lot of the time in Talisman, it's you can play a more defensive game and just sort of slowly build up all your resources, but mm. it doesn't quite work as well this time. Uh, another question we had, which was uh, how big, this was Mr. Ooze again. <laughs> Some great questions. How big was Games Workshop's involvement with the project? Um, Games Workshop were very involved uh, with mm. Talisman all the way through. They've been great to work with. We always enjoy working with Games Workshop. Um, they they trust us to do the right thing with their games, and um, yeah, we, we 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 regularly get things sent to them for them to glance over to make sure what we're doing doing doesn't wander too far from how they view Talisman and the, the family friendly nature of the game. Uh, we, we've certainly suggested some things in the past which didn't fit how, how they wanted, and they were right. And they were always um, very protective of Talisman, and yeah. they've always been really good for us to work with. So. But they'll always like explain their reasoning as well, which I think goes along. Yeah. Way. Like they won't just turn around and say, no, you can't do that. They'll explain why. No, no. Yeah, they always explain. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I think the fact that yeah. we're now working on Fury of Dracula for them. Um, shows how much they trust us um, after the work we've done on Talisman, right? Yeah, and it's been the same with that game as well. You know, they, they, they've they been very good. Great feedback all the way through it to make sure it's always uh, the kind of game they want and, you know, making sure it's a high quality game. And I just lost to an ice elemental because I tried to yeah. chip away at it with my wooden stake. <laughs> you an ice pick? It's like... Yeah. Ice Elemental 101. <laughs> or a flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to roll the dice and then see where I want to go. So I can either go to the guard room, which I probably don't want to do, or I can go to the fields, or I can go to the plains. All very exciting options. I'll go to the plains. 
Right, and then encounter space. And what do I encounter? Diamond? Diamond. I'm alright with that. I think I'm going to make a beeline for the city in that case. You should, yeah. Yeah. You get four entire gold, which is four yes. points in this yeah. game. All right, I think I've figured out what my next tactic is. <laughs> <laughs> get, a, get a taxi to the city. Oh, yeah. Um, we've had a few people asking us about future content. Uh, mm. Nemo on, who's a big friend of ours, who's helped us out for years. Um, Davane on Discord, and a couple of other people have asked what future plans are and if there's any big DLC coming up and bigger expansions. Um, at the moment, we're not working on any big expansions, but we have got quite a few things lined up um, coming soon. Uh, as I'm sure you've all seen, the profile update that we did in the last few weeks it was quite a big update for us. Uh, you're being able to track players' scores, see how well players are doing, uh, having leaderboards for all different statistics. Um, and people have been loving the update and the... Um, Leaderboards have been filling up with all sorts of crazy stats. People have been, there's one player who's already died sort of 3,000 times <laughs> since the update went out, which is nice. Uh, quite poor, funny. poor, unfortunate player. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, he plods on, keeps playing. Yeah. Um, our, our immediate plans are to expand on what we've added recently uh, and add more features to the profile system and just make it a little bit more engaging and entertaining and something for players to use. Um, we do have some ideas for expansions, um, so we're not finished there yet. There will be more sort of card and dice-based content, uh, but for the immediate future, it's more um, expanding on the nice profile system that we've got. Yeah. Thanks for that question. Um, I'm going to head into the Highlands, I think, and go to the cliff, yeah. which is down here. Because I like the Highlands. Highlands is quite a good area for near the start of the game because most of the enemies are fairly low mm. strength and craft I say that probably find a mountain dragon now that's <laughs> an emerald that's emerald? okay that's all right that was think... good as your diamond but... yeah it's not quite diamond but you know we can't all be yeah. ones <laughs> all right uh, let's go to the woods because I want to visit the um, alchemist in the city Ruby, nice. <laughs> so wow. now I can trade both of those in for seven gold. I really like talisman. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you with all your gems, like jingling yeah. in your pocket, <laughs> strolling into the city. What will you give me for these? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think, uh, I think you're going to get quite a few points in this game. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh no. The knight's fighting me? Well, good thing I have a spell uh, ready. Thanks to my genie follower. Uh -huh. See, you're invisible, but are those gems invisible that you're <laughs> holding? Or are they kind of floating where, you, where you're holding them? <laughs> I think? There's just two floating gems that you just can't <laughs> grips with. Yeah. I mean, you'd kind of swish your sword around where the gems are <laughs> hope for the best. <laughs> oh. Alright. Attack this tunnel on edge. All, all the gems are coming out. Oh my god. There's not normally this many gems uh, this early on, is there? <laughs> um. Well, no, I guess with a... I think oh. the Highland deck has about 80-something cards in it, so I guess mm. it's, we've just been really lucky, though. Most of the gems have come to the top. Yeah. All right, I've managed to get to the city. The Alchemist, who uh, has kind of a... You no, know, he kind of reminds me of someone, the Alchemist. It's kind of hard to... Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of funny you should say that. that. Yeah. <laughs> when, we, when, we were, um, when we were first making the game, we realised that there were... It would be nice to present the sort of residents of the board as cards, mm -hmm. so the blacksmith, uh, the healers, things like that. But we didn't have card art for them, so we used uh, nomad staff members to uh, represent the residents on the board. And the alchemist is me, but I, I have to say it's with an old filter. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a Photoshop <laughs> filter that makes someone look old. I'm sure. Uh, okay, um, applied I'm sure. in that case. Yeah, just. 
it just you know doesn't show the pure youth that you normally radiate of course that's right yeah <laughs> although that was seven years ago <laughs> so i'm slightly older now so at what point does the alchemist become accurate <laughs> uh, when i can convert objects into gold <laughs> quite a way off I think. <laughs> yeah I think you might need a little bit more practice before you're uh, quite there. So I now have 11 gold. Hmm yeah money back. you're gonna take some uh, take some beating in this game I think. That's what turned me on. So I'm around nine now at 30. So yeah. Nearly a third of the way through. Um, next I think I'll stay in the highland and I might go to this cliff see if I can chase the uh, scout up the mountain oh, it's a magic shield if I'm defeated in battle and roll, lost, lose a life roll a die if I get four five or six I did not lose the life but still lost the battle that's nice I'll take that nice saves my life and gets me a point at the end yeah Oh, I can re-roll. Yeah, I got one then. Hey, that's better. Safe. <laughs> I do appreciate the uh, the ability to re-roll, because it means you have li just a little bit more control over uh, what's going on. Yeah, I think that was probably the best sort of big thing that Fantasy Fly Games added, I think, to the fourth revised edition, Fate. It was, uh, mm. makes such a difference. Yeah. Um, another question we've had in, this, this one was also from Mr. Ooze. <laughs> um, not playing favourites, are you, Carl? No, I'm not, no. Well, these are really good questions. He, he's asked, or she's asked. Mm. It says Mr., so I assume it's he. Um, whilst you've been working on new content, uh, would you consider rebalancing some of the old cards? Which is interesting. Um, I mean, there's one thing that Talisman isn't, and that's balanced. Yeah, and I, I don't, I don't think it's ever really intended to be balanced. You know, there's always been discussions about the most powerful characters and some characters not even being allowed in certain games because they're so powerful. Um, and I think if you went back and tried to tweak some of the older cards for their effects, you probably wouldn't really notice the difference very much. Um, hmm. It would probably still feel like the same kind of game. Plus, because we we we've digitized physical thing. We have to trust the, the people who originally worked on it and the amount of time they've spent on coming up with the cards and how those cards work. Um, for us to just undo those things or just say, well, we don't agree how this card works. I mean, there have been times where we, we've changed a couple of the cards, but that was yeah. mainly because they just didn't work at all, rather than for balancing reasons. Or there's stuff that like works better in digital if it works a certain way. So yeah, I mean, a, a good example of that in the physically. city, there's um, a follower called a scribe, which originally had, oh no, the gremlin, sorry, um, which said, uh, while you have the gremlin, you can't use any objects. Um, and then that prompted all kinds of discussions about using and holding objects and whether you're actually using an object. If you're wearing armor, for instance, are you using it? Yeah. Um, and it was quite hard to resolve those things. So there are times where cards like that come up where we've reworded it slightly just to make it clearer for players to know what's going on. But I don't think we would go back and rebalance it too much. Um, there's 500 cards in this game, so like I said, I don't think you would even notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <We changed. laughs> oh no, it's a tumbling boulder. Oh no. So I have to roll a die, um, and if I get a two, two to six, which I have. Nice. The boulder is now going to roll space to space, six spaces, and take things with it. There we go. It rolls down the hill. Yep. And finishes there. If that had rolled over another player, it would have taken a life off them, but uh, no players there, so we were safe. All right. Two, so I can go that ice elemental that killed you. Or go to the chapel. Oh, actually, I might as well go to the chapel, right? Because I am—I've got a good alignment. Yeah, you can uh, increase your praise score. Yeah, because of my knight special ability that I dismissed. 
earlier we on. We did. And now, <laughs> now if you get uh, three plus, All right, you'll be happy. Pray. Sorted. There you go. So you can either gain a spell if you can carry on, or uh, a life. What did you gain then? Uh, I don't think I gained anything. I've already got a spell. Is that my maximum spell limit? Did you choose to gain a spell? Uh, no. I rolled and it didn't let me choose anything, so I, mu I must have full health and all my spells. I'm going back to thinking the knight is useless. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you were rude to them yeah, in the chapel. Probably. That does sound like me. I call it, yeah, you, 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 I think you chose six, so mm. uh, that's getting a spell, and I don't think you can have one. Yeah. You must already, already have got one. Full amount of spells. Yeah. Oh, well. oh, well. At least I'm not fighting a giant rock mauler. That's true. Unlike some people. Yeah. <laughs> He's won, though. Yeah, just barely. He's replenished some fate. All right, back to you. All right, I'm going to cast a spell on... You, uh, you, actually. Oh. I'll cast it on you, because you've got the most stuff. There oh. goes random. Oh, because if I become a toad, I'll game. drop all my things, right? Yeah. And you've got oh. no fate. <laughs> so. Oh. Lose all, oh. Oh, well, I didn't... That's okay. A, so, yeah, you only lose any strength you've gained, and you haven't gained any. Did you oh, read your post? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So one the the Dark Knight, Dark Knight made you reroll and got me a one. <laughs> so I'm now a toad. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> so <laughs> anyone that's not watched Talisman has now seen me go through the entire Talisman spectrum because I've gone from oh my god I'm doing so well this game's great <laughs> to I'm a toad. This game's awful. <laughs> you just you've just dropped all of your things on that space, and now everyone's going to rush there to try and get them. Yep. So it's uh, uh, <laughs> all of this is uh, on here, along with eleven gold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. So let's move to the hills. Might as well. See, now this is a journey. If you uh, yeah. get all that, all those things, and then you're toaded, and then you go on to win, which you could still. What a, what a story that is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so all characters except those of neutral alignment must miss one turn. So everyone misses a turn? Yeah. Yep. So Scout you, misses so you turn. have one, one less turn as a toad. It's usually three. Turn. You miss a turn, and I miss a turn. <laughs> so normally that wouldn't really change much, but because we've got these limited rounds, that does actually change things a bit. Yeah. So I have another question here from Patrick McIntyre from Facebook, which is probably one of the most commonly asked questions we get. Mm. Um, he says, I own uh, a digital copy of Talisman on Steam. I also have an Apple phone and an Android tablet. It's kind of annoying that I can't buy one license and play it on multiple devices. Um, it's a tricky one, really. I mean, we totally understand people who, who are in that situation. Most people nowadays have different types of devices for different situations. Yeah. But the problem we've got as a developer is um, when somebody buys a game from us, they're actually buying it from the company that owns the platform. So they, they've not purchased it from us, which means that we don't actually have any customer details. We've never owned customer details because um, you're not actually buying the game from us. You're buying it from Apple or you're buying it from Valve or, or from Google. Um, and so there's, it's impossible for us to know who owns what and on which platforms mm. um, for us to introduce something like that. Also, the stores themselves um, don't allow that kind of thing. Free downloads if you own something on another platform. 
it could well be that that kind of thing is slowly being introduced or uh, some other developers who are much, much bigger than us have found ways around it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the main reason. It's, it's a little like going to watch a film at the cinema and then six months later walking into a shop and expecting to get the, you know, show them your cinema ticket and say, can I have the Blu-ray version of this film as well, please? Because I've seen it already. You know, it's, it, it's, it's a different sales point um, which is, is, it can be frustrating. Um, hopefully that answers the question. It's a good question though, and it does get asked quite regularly. We still do offer the uh, expansions um, syncing as long as you sign into your Nomad account, right? Yeah, yeah, we still do that. So if you buy expansions on one platform, uh, you can use them on all of the platforms where you own the game. Yeah. So it's not quite all there, but there's at least still like, as long as you bought the base game on another platform, you can then sign in, sync all your expansions, which helps a little bit. Yeah. All right, what is going on in the game? You are fighting a gigantic spider. Uh, my magic shield, which I recently found, has just saved me. Nice. Uh, my life as a toad continues to be a life as a toad. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting attacked by a bandit. So... That bandit is, is, de is demanding of a toad uh, all, of his, <laughs> all, of his, all of its possessions. <laughs> what a mean bandit that is. All right. No wonder like, bandits have got such a bad reputation. I've got no gold, so I can't evade. So let's fight you as a toad. Oh, you yeah, know, that's oh, nearly defeated. Nearly. <laughs> he's barely defeated this toad. <laughs> As bandits go, he's not he's not the greatest. <laughs> Alright. So next turn should be my last turn as a toad, right? Yeah. And then I'll be back to being a normal actual uh knight. Knight, yeah. Um we've got another good question here, and again it's from Mr. Ooze. Okay. Mm -hmm. You decided to update the Talisman uh, Talisman on PS4 uh, after previously stating it was almost impossible. What changed? Great question. This is a technical question, really. Um, when we did Talisman on PlayStation 4 originally, it was um, made for us by a, a different development studio in Spain mm -hmm. uh, who did a great job on it. Um, and so it wasn't actually worked on by us. Uh, it was a different company. And so the technology it was built on uh, didn't belong to us, and it was um, a difficult thing for us to ever start work on ourselves, um, start to develop or make changes or even update the game with patches, because um, we didn't own the technology. Uh, so it kind of stayed in that state for quite a while, uh, but we were slowly working on it over time and tinkering with it now and again to see if we could convert the, the engine that was used into how we, we normally build Talisman. And earlier this year, um, our tech director was spending quite a while on it and we found that actually it was possible and we could uh, make some changes and actually start updating the game ourselves. So, you know, made a decision, PlayStation owners have waited long enough um, and we should update the game on PlayStation and uh, get it back into line with all the other platforms. So we're working on that now. Um, uh, and it should hopefully be out in the next couple of months, but we, we've not decided exactly when yet. We're just working on it quite hard. So yeah, we've put out more, the announcement. On you soon. Let people know that it is happening. Um, yeah, it's like you said, they've been waiting for quite a while. Um, I think they appreciated just a heads up that it was going to happen. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, why? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> so, so, for so you're there, yeah. right next to your things, and uh, where, where, are you, where are you going to now? Oh, that's not far. That's okay. not far. I mean, Being sent to the crags. I'm still inside the crags, which means that I have to roll a die, and if uh, I roll a one, I get attacked. If I roll a two or a three, I lose an entire turn. Uh, but if I get four or five or a six, then I might be all right. There you go. As long as no one re-rolls this. No one better re-roll this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm safe. 
Good. I'm back to being a knight. All right, we can we can still save this. This is still savable. I just need to get my stuff. A knight with empty pockets. Uh, all right. As long as I get my stuff, it's all good. the scout so, up to. So look, the scout's got just, eight. Uh, oh yeah, the scout's doing well. Yeah, he's just been sneakily hiding in the highlands, getting his resources up. He's, uh, we're just approaching the halfway point now as well. I think round 15's coming up. Mm -hmm. He's stealing some fate from the Dread Knight. I want it to come around to my turn so I can get my stuff. <laughs> You've got no fate either, have you? So uh, nope. you're going to find it quite hard to land yeah. back on that space. Yeah, because your movement's defined by uh, what you roll. There's still that element of... Oh, no. <laughs> Can't. It's all right. No, I'm not going to be mean. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to be mean. Maybe later. <laughs> I'm having a fight with a doppelganger that has the exact same strength as me. But include so it's the stake. Well, if I'd have used the stake, then the uh, doppelganger would have also gained the same oh, bonus. Oh, that as well. Okay. So I could evade though, but um, I've only got two lives actually. It's a bit risky. Um, in fact, I'll use this spell instead, and I'll create a copy of myself which will fight for me. Oh. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, help me. Uh, if I lose, it will be yeah. a standoff instead of a, a victory. I have lost. <laughs> yeah, good thing you use that, innit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Stand like I said, there's, there are things that you can do in this game to sort of mitigate the uh, random factor, but... Yeah. Oh, I didn't want a three, I wanted a two. You're wow. just going to be dancing around that space now for the rest I'm of the <laughs> <laughs> Desperately trying to get my stuff back. All right, let's see what I get. Whenever you draw an adventure card, you may discard one card of your choice that you do not wish to encounter. Okay, that's quite good. It means I can avoid any nasty uh, adventure cards that I might draw. I've got another question here. If you could get any license for Talisman, what would it be? That's a really good question. Um, you could maybe answer this as well, Tom. Personally, I'd yeah. say something like Lord of the Rings. If it was possible. Lord of the Rings would be cool. Um, yeah, it just you can just imagine the Crown of Command being Mount Doom. In, yeah. Trying to get there to throw the ring in. It's that classic through. thing of, like, you're going on an adventure and, like, all sorts of stuff could happen to you on the way. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars. I like Star Wars a lot. <laughs> so... If we could get Star Wars, I know there is the physical version of uh, Talisman with Star Wars, um, but if we could get their hands on that to do a digital version of that, I'd be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So would I. Ooh, look at that. Oh. It's a it's a night off night versus night. Yeah. I actually think a uh, a Marvel um, version could be quite cool because you'd have to do it as like. All the different characters are different superheroes, and then you're all going around the city as random events happen. You can steal something from the Dread Knight. I can steal something. Uh, fate steal is a good one. Yeah. If you uh, fate steal. You defeat an enemy, you get a fate. Also, he's the one that picked a fight with me, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Right. Think twice next time. Now, oh, I found a shovel. Interesting. Oh, I'm carrying too many things. Yeah, you've got um, so much stuff. Um, I need to drop one. I'll drop. I'll drop the shovel. I've only just found it, so I'm not too attached to it yet. Yeah. It's not like my favourite shovel. <laughs> <gasps> it's a one. Oh, look at that! I get to go back and get all my stuff. <laughs> Oh, I love Talisman again. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a story arc that was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Became a frog in a church. 
I'm gonna heal myself as well. Wow. Same. Every, everything comes full circle. Um, got another question from Tevez Janos on Facebook, who says, when will there be a new expansion announced for the Talisman board game? Uh, unfortunately, we can't really answer that, um, yeah. because we actually don't really know. It's not something um, we've got any information about. I think it's uh, Pegasus Spieler currently um, dealing with the publications of the physical version. Uh, and I think they're just reissuing existing content. So yeah, they're doing like reprints and like, yeah, um, getting it back out there as well. No? Yeah, I don't think there are any plans at the moment for uh, a new physical expansion. But you never know. That doesn't mean it won't happen. Yeah, I think I'd go and visit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, some like time paradoxes are going to start happening there. <laughs> <laughs> we go me from the future. Yeah, there you go. Some gold uh, pieces. They got loads of gold. Alright, where am I gonna go? What have you got, Carl, that I can steal? Because I now have the option to land on you. So just uh <laughs> but you were you did have the option to uh yeah. grab don't, my stuff don't forget, earlier. So. Don't forget in the past when uh you know, I could have taken all your things and I didn't. You could, but you didn't. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Mystic instead. Even though what I did wasn't really black witch behaviour. <laughs> Alright, well I got ignored, but that's fine. You know, that, that sometimes happens in life. <laughs> you, you go to a Mystic and you get ignored. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than finding out like uh, something terrible is going to happen to you in the next 24 hours. I'd rather well, get maybe... Maybe that's why he ignored you, because he kind of saw that in your future. Um, <laughs> he's like, look, you're right off, mate. There's no point in even telling you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a great quick question. Um, a question as old as time itself. Cats or dogs? Dogs. <laughs> dogs. I'm well known in the Nomad office for uh, liking dogs a lot. I think there's been times when we've been back when we were in the uh, actual Nomad office where there'd be dogs getting walked back and forth outside and someone would be like, hey Tom, there's a dog outside. I'd be like, where? <laughs> and you'd, like a dog, you'd kind of go racing to the door. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, maybe scratching at the door <laughs> to see if you could see but the dog outside. All dogs are good dogs. That's my bold statement of this stream. <laughs> I remember, uh, remember hearing a, gr a great quote, life quote once, which was, uh, be the person your dog thinks you are. <laughs> which uh, I've always thought was really good because dogs just love people, don't they? They do. Like, you interact with the dog for about two minutes and I'll be like, oh my God, you're now my best friend forever. Yeah. And I think I love you. <laughs> Whereas cats are a bit more like, yeah, have you got anything for me? Because if you haven't, I'm off. Like it's a bit of an event if the cat decides that they like you. Yeah, I do. I do like cats, um, and I've, I've owned a few, owned had a few cats. They've owned me, should I say, down the years. But I probably am a dog person. I think just dogs just shade it for me a bit. Like, yeah, I think it's the the good dog energy that I appreciate. Oh, <laughs> uh, someone's just re-rolled my dice for me. Why is everyone re-rolling my dice? <laughs> well, I'll give you the heads up now, Carl. We've got uh, a little bit more time left on the stream, but not a huge amount. So if you've got any more quick questions you want to rattle off, uh, go for it. Joel, what else have we had? Um, will there be any more character packs this year? Well, actually, character packs are really interesting things to create. They don't take very long. They, they take more design time because you mm. need to take balancing into account. Um, and we have released six this year, I think, already. Which, they were the first characters we've done for a while. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we don't have any on a sort of imminent uh, release plan, but uh, we love doing new characters. And I think that's one of the best things about Talisman, is just the variety yeah. of um, all the different characters you can play as and the different experiences. 
yeah. So we've not ruled them out. They're, they're a non-imminent, unfortunately. Who was it that asked that as well? <laughs> it was Mr. Who's. We did get lots of questions from lots of people. Everyone's favourite. <laughs> but it's just quite a few people, people asked similar things. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's roll the dice. And let's go. Let's go pick up your shovel. You didn't want it. I'll take it. I, I well, I just couldn't carry it. I, I did like it. <laughs> like, oh, I've, got, I've got so much stuff, you know. I'm so yeah. I, I think if, if we're going to run out of time soon, then it's probably safe to say you've won. You've certainly uh, earned it more than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. The uh, scout might be pretty close. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can work out how many points he's got. Yeah. Um, I think actually it tells us when there's 10 rounds to go. So what we could do is just take the score on the next round as yeah. the final score. Because I think we're on round 19 at the minute. Yeah, I still like the fact that we uh, picked the quicker way of playing Talisman uh, and ended up playing for an hour <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's the AI's fault, it's too slow. Yeah. I think it's at the end of this round, I think it pops up with a score saying 10 rounds to go. But Let's we can just see. take that as the final score. Well, um, unless I'm not the winner, because then I, I don't think I want to take that as the final score. It's going to be you or the scout, isn't it? Yep. Let's go here. See if I can get one on that last little thing. Okay, I'll have a fight with, I'll have a fight with a Wrathborn Knight. Who's a fate stealer? So yeah, if he rolls one to three, which he has, mm -hmm. he gets to roll again and add it to the score. Here we go. So it's not over. Okay. So how much does that result in? Oh, you still, still win. win. Nice. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Get a bit of fate. So these might be the last two turns. Yeah. Hopefully the uh, scout has something terrible happen to him. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Foggy nights. So we got foggy nights. I'm a familiar. So he's gained another card anyway. But lost a life to gain the familiar. And what's the Dread Knight going to do? Hmm. Oh, I just want to know. I just want to know. <laughs> He's fighting a soul dragon. Oh, man. Well. Right. Looks like he might... Uh, oh, no, that's Sweet. a draw, right? Draw, yeah. Stand off. Oh, it's not showing the score. Right, okay. Um, I thought it did show it when there was 10 rounds to go. So. so if we do a quick count up, it looks like, well, it's going to be between you and the scout. Yeah. you got 11, 12, 14, 16, 21 points. I think the scout's got... I think the scout's beaten you by one point. Oh! <laughs> I think. I think. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it looks like the scout. It's very close, and you may have just swung it very the last ten rounds. Yeah. <laughs> if we were able to carry on, I'm sure you would have won. Oh, yeah, most most definitely. I definitely wouldn't have got turned into a toad again. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, right. Yeah, well, close victory, which I will still take. So thanks everyone for joining us for this uh, stream as part of Tabletop Fest. Hope you enjoyed it and go check out Talisman. It's really cool when you're not being turned into a toad. <laughs> cool for everyone else when you get turned into a toad. Oh yeah, but not, yeah. not for you. And thanks for all the questions. 
yes, thank you very much uh, to everyone that sent in a question, and sorry to anyone that uh, we didn't get to read out. All right, awesome. Okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs>